What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. God, welcome to the internet every time. Welcome back to space. Welcome back to the Mir Space Station. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This isn't the Mir Space Station. It's just my home. And I'm going to welcome you back to a thank you, Crutch Jr. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. How's it going? Did you have a good... I had an all right Thanksgiving, I guess. It was all right. And uh, we're going to do a modern cube draft. Look how long it took me to actually finish that introduction. <coughs> so... Uh, here we are. I want more jazz. Is there a Frank DJ's jazz show? No, because they won't give me the rights to anything. They'll just mute me. And you know what? I don't like being muted. Are you guys enjoying this rain? I hope so. So here's a funny story. My roommate Felipe is like, hey... I'm expecting a package. Can you guys make sure it doesn't get wet? And I'm like, yeah, sure, because it looks like it's going to rain here. So I was like, yeah, just, I went to go check. And I'm like, well, it's not here yet. And he's like, well, that's weird. And then he posts the screenshot of where it says, like, hey, good news. Your item has been delivered. And then I go to look at the address. And it's literally his old apartment, which is not here, clearly. And I'm like, check the address, chief. And he's like, oh, no, that's my old address. And I'm like, correct. And he's like, this is bad. And I'm like, also correct. How is Mike? Um, not great. He has he has been better, but I think he's getting better, maybe. Mike has not gone to the doctor. Uh, I like Gazellus conscripts here. Mono black draft? This is not a, a mono black pack. Yeah, I like Zealous Conscripts. I think that's good enough. Plus, it incentivizes us to take, like, the, um... Kiki Jiki, if we see it. Kikums, Mick Jikums. It's just Incinerate. Are we just mono reading? Dream Eater is definitely not so good. I actually actively dislike Dream Seeker. It might be, it might be better in limited, but I mean, ugh, I had some bad memories with Dream Eater. We do, we go do mono, mono red. All right, I'll take the Incinerate. And I bet Iron Shaman comes back. Oh, P and Kieran Alari. If we're gonna go mono red, this is a good one to have. It beat you last round. Mono red. Oh yeah, mono red did. Right, right, right. That is correct. That is correct, Commander. That's my best. Uh, you know. James Earl Jones voice. Banefire, Pyromancer, Lightning Strike, Nahiri. I like Pyromancer here. Yeah, I like Pyromancer more than Banefire. Banefire might come back. Some, some might Lightning Strike. It depends on what. It depends on the reads in this pack. I mean, I'm definitely taking Young Pyromancer over striker, Striking him and Firing him. Oh, Legion War Boss. That guy is a house. I like them on a red draft because usually you can just take the whatever cards you see and be like, all right, cool. I'm just going to take this red card. Here's a red card. Taking this red card. All the red cards. So 
See, like Sweltering Sun. Actually, probably not going to take Sweltering Sun. I almost think Expansion Explosion is better just because Expansion does copy a thing. So it could be anything. could be a removal spell. could be a counter spell. And you can still play it in your mono red deck. And also triggers Young Pyromancer. Whereas Sweltering Sun seems actually actively terrible for our deck. You can just play the first half as a limited reverberate. Well, this, this pack is also not great. I guess we'll just take West Vale Abbey. We can also take Muldrifter and just try to be blue. I think it's actually Muldrifter. Maybe we're not mono red. Maybe we're just blue red. I'll put you in the main deck for now. Because this also gets better once we're playing blue red, obviously. Oh, I like a bonfire. Ancestral, Lightning Helix. Oh, I really don't want to be three colors. Geist of St. Traft, maybe I do. I don't. Definitely don't think Bonfire is a signal. <laughs> I like Ancestral a lot. I'm definitely not going into white here when we have Muldrifter and Expansion Explosion. There's just no reason. I don't think it's that much better than... I want to take Ancestral. Like, the red deck actually doesn't want to have that many lands in play to make Bonfire super effective. I wonder if Kira's good. No, ouch. Are you okay? Bonfire could win, but, like, if you draw the Bonfire, it's like, eh. Let's take Pirate Spellball here. Oh, Irish Shaman did come back. What was the other card that we were like, this might come back? Is it Irish Shaman? Or is it just Needle Spire? It's Irish Shaman. I really don't want to be white here. Of course, they're really tempting me with the white. Wow. All right. Inspiring Vantage. Sure. Selfless spirit. Okay. <clears throat> kind of dried up there, unfortunately. Aurelia. Lava Coil's good. I'm not going to take double white Gideon. What's Why would I take double white Gideon? That's ridiculous. I'm not going to take any of these double white cards. We're not even white, really. We have Inspiring Vantage. I would take Aurelia because it's easy to splash off of a single white, but Lava Coil is the best card, and it really actually came back last time. I'm going to take the guaranteed card I will play. Oh, I like Assemble the Legion a lot. Rampaging Ferocidon seems pretty ridiculous. I like Ferocidon a lot better than Collective Defiance. I never actually want to play Collective Defiance, whereas Assemble the Legion seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take Assemble here. I just think it's... I just think it's very, very good. Flame Wake Phoenix is what? Fer ferocious, if you have a 4 or greater, you can... Put it back in the thing. I'm not gonna take this. Don't ask me to take Bermaz. It's double white. Not gonna. Not there yet. Um, it might just be Flame Wake Phoenix actually. Oh, Venerated Loxodon seems good in this deck. Yeah, let's take Venerated Loxodon. 
And maybe that searing, searing thing comes back. We can play Glory Bound Initiate or Roast. I'm really hoping that Aurelia comes back. Avacyn is still double white. I'm not gonna. I'm not that heavy white, guys. I'm really not into taking double white cards when we have one fixing land. Uh, face fetters is pretty good. Shambling vent and blood crypt, two Mardu lands. Got the old silk wrap that has been played against us to to good effect. I'll just take silk wrap. Also double white. Outpost siege could be good actually. I'm gonna take the outpost siege. It's a nice way to draw cards, and also if we get young pyromancer going, or actually assembled legion and outpost siege is pretty insane, right? Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, it deals one damage. Like so, even if the creatures don't get in, they still get in. Did it really not wheel yet? No, this is the that wasn't the Aurelia pack. Aurelia was right here. I was like, I don't think we know that yet. I don't think we've had the option to see. Lingering Souls is good. I don't like Collector Defiance that much. Like, usually you just use it to deal 4 damage to a creature. I guess it could be fine. I took Lingering Souls, if we're able to splash it. Like, there is a Blood Crypt and a Shambling Vent going around, so if we can actually get those, it's nice. Yeah, Faithless Living comes back, sure. Archangel Avacyn comes back. I think I'm just taking Staff of Nin. No, Avacyn's probably better. I don't like all these five drops, but this guy's basically not a five drop. Honors, Blood Crypt, or Shambling Vent one time. Neither. Nay. Hero of Blade Hold. Pilgrim's Eye. Figure of Destiny is probably pretty good. Especially if we're just playing... Yeah, we're we'll just take Figure here. If we're just playing White and Red. Uh, I definitely like Figure here. Oh, History of Banalia? Boy, now we're getting deeper. Yeah, we're definitely taking the history here. That's nice and aggressive. Teferi, jeez. I like I like uh, history better on the curve, and uh, with Avacyn, we're looking heavier white here. So, could just take Porcelain Engineer as a two drop. I don't think it's Swift Spear here. We also have 11 creatures. We have History, which is a creature, and Lingering Souls, which are creatures. And this is kind of a creature, so it's kind of like 14 creatures. I kind of just want another 2-drop, though. Yeah, I'm going to take it to Por Porcelain Boy. I would not mind another... Oh, wow, Rebel Master and Legion War Boss? With Venerated Loxodon and Outpost and Assemble? Yeah, we're going to take this guy. Man, all of the, uh... Oh, Sacred Foundry. Actually, exactly what we want. That's beautiful. 
Pirate Spellbomb's kind of iffy. I don't know if we're going to be playing this. That's pretty much the Lingering Souls I'm kind of iffy on if we don't have any way to splash the second half. Hmm. I don't mind a Monastery Mentor in place of a Lingering Souls, though. That is pretty similar. Yeah, I like going wide here. Lyra actually seems great here, but it's just another expensive lady. We have Archangel Lavison and Aurelia, but... I mean, we, would we cut any of these? Probably not. <laughs> Definitely not playing all his dust. But it will trigger your mentor. You know, I guess that's true. I want to take Lyra. I think it's better to just have... Oh, Restoration Angel seems insane. Actually, Lyra's probably better than Avacyn. Especially with Resto now. Oh, Hero Blade Hold casually comes back. Okie dokie. So I'm going to put the Lyra in instead of the Avacyn. I'll take out Face Fetters for now. Loxton actually isn't really a 5. It's probably closer to a 4 or a 3. Cast Out and Hero of Oxford Ridge also come back. I think cast out's more along the lines of what we want in the deck. We can actually play approach. That's pretty good. It's not that good. Morseful Cleric is a body. That guy's fine. Smoke Doke, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much. Uh, is it really worth it in this deck? Maybe. I mean, Incinerate, Lava Coil, Roast. No, I'd rather play the Floaty Boy. Which is pretty sad, but... Oh, Journey to Nowhere is great. That's likely main deckable. Probably Remorseful Cleric. So this is actually... This deck looks pretty sweet. Also, we have a bunch of cards that trigger Flame Wake Phoenix. And we get two dual lands. This deck looks pretty sweet, and pretty different from anything we've had previously. Outpost Siege on Dragons also seems like it just wins us the game. How many Angels do we have? Three main deck? That's pretty okay. Also, Porcelain Legionnaire can go here. Venerated Loxodon can probably go here. Is Key and Peel even good now? Yeah, well, why wouldn't they be? Are we actually higher white than red at this point? Yeah, looks like it. That's actually pretty funny. Alright. Just gonna submit like this. I like we have Silk Wrap, Face Fetters, and Cast Out in the sideboard, along with uh, Sword of War and Peace. Those are some nice sideboard options. this hand. I'm a fan. I'm like, I can't promise that.
wish I was on the play. Oof. This is my guess. Oh look, they took the card I recommended. Knew it. Rob Master Mountain Mountain. All right, it seems fine. History, come on. <laughs> oh, Zaychi, in all fairness, this is actually just uh, this is a website called rainymood.com, which is supplying the sweet, sweet rain to any target. That's pretty good. Although he should have played. Dang it. So we can either play, we can flip this guy and play this, dealing more damage to Ashok, which I think is correct. And then maybe we even get a card to play here. It's going to be a land. And I'm just going to feel bad because I missed out. Oh, biscuits. That's fine. We wouldn't have played that for a couple turns anyway. Uh, Megamorph, when you flip it, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. So long, Assembled Legion. Surprise Pikachu's on deck. Like you do. Okay, I'm getting real mad now. You're taking all my good things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands have been have been revealed, so there are eight lands left in our nineteen card deck, so a little less than half. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like we're in really bad shape this game. Got posters on the wall. Alright, that was a fair trade. My favorite rock group is. This time we're going cons because I want the extra card every turn, and we have um, enough land to play everything in our deck, so that's good. It's in the garage, not in my garage. Actually, it might be. There might be some lines that say in my garage. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, though. I feel safe. No one cares about my ways. Porcelain Legionnaire? I can actually play that. That's kind of funny. Look at that porcelain boy. God, they're up so fast, don't they? That guy can't block anything. He can't block anything. We're ten cards short of what? Of our deck? Oh, that's nice. Isn't that special? Well, at least you know Lyra Dawnbringer is going to survive here. The Roast of Porcelain Legionnaire. Not yet. Not today. Oh, I see. Here comes Doomblade. Guide. I've gotten 12 sided die. Yeah, you can have a porcelain engineer if you'd like. Welp, might as well kill all the things. I feel like they're going to go Doomblade, and then we're going to have to sack this guy to get rid of our graveyard, but maybe not. Really just gonna, are we just going to connect? Oh, wow. Oh, that worked out well. And now if we can play Outpost Siege on Dragons, it's just over. I was afraid they were going to kill this, and then in response I would probably exile my own graveyard. Just to make sure they don't get Lyra's under the McVant. Are you guys okay with this rain? Interesting. Oh, this is bad. Is this real? Is this real life? It's so bad. We have six lands. What can we even draw here? I guess we can draw like a burn spell, incinerate. Incinerate, Flame Wake Phoenix. Ugh. Oh, how 
dead. But boy, that's a real beating. Any creature I probably would have said dragons. Now I'm probably gonna lean toward cons here. Crying out loud. Oh, that's gonna be that's so bad, dude. That's gonna be. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, we can't deal 11 damage now. That's absolutely amazing. Two turns too late. That was pretty incredible. Face fetters. Take out. Take out journey. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. I don't want to cast out and face fetters. I don't want to clog out my hand with a bunch of four drops, which we already have the risk of doing. This hand seems great, assuming they don't hit a thought seize of some kind. Man, that game was an emotional roller coaster. Uh, I, I like I like fetters better than cast out. I mean, the four life seems like it could be relevant, but they both basically do the same thing when they're on the board. Uh, the difference is if you can get rid of a cast out, you get an enters the battlefield trigger, and if you get rid of um. If you get rid of face fetters, you do not. So, of course. Seems good. My favorite rock group kiss. I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris waiting there for me as I do. In the garage, I feel safe. No one. One, two, three. Oh boy, damnation incoming. I mean, ideally they're gonna, ideally he says, we're gonna, it's gonna be a three for two if they damnation. But then ideally we hit a land and then we get to uh, assemble the legion, but we gotta, we gotta actually hit the land. I've not seen Bohemian Rhapsody yet. I think I might go tomorrow night and see it.
Doom Boy. Well, that is a thing. Oh, biscuits. Land here would have been very, very nice. Yeah, how do you, how do you mean Bohemian Rhapsody was whitewashed? It's a bunch of white guys in a band. Oh, you mean as far as like the, um, the like how like controversy was? Oh boy, Dim Whisper is a big dude. comes pact of negation. No pact of negation. Committed no crimes. And bad mistakes. Alright, so they can block one thing. If they don't block here, they block like here. And then this guy dies no matter who he blocks. So we'd be dealing 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This feels like an alpha turn. And if you want to block here, you take 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so that's, that's about right. How would you rate it really as a card in a vacuum? As in a vacuum? Five out of five. Like it's it does pretty much everything you want. Man, surveilling putting two Jaces in the graveyard. That's something. I mean they're they're definitely just gonna surveil until they hit damnation, I guess. They're gonna attack us for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight. Oh, they kept one. All right. I mean, we're still in a position where if they damnation, we can untap Assemble the Legion. Uh, I have not dated Melissa for three years. No. Other than the obvious assassin's trophy, which guilds cards in your... I... What? What are these vintage cube questions you're asking me, man? Uh... Oh, for your vintage cube, I guess? Um... I don't know, actually. I haven't really... I haven't checked out enough of... I haven't... I mean, I guess I've checked out the cards. I haven't, uh... Assessed them for cube worthiness yet. I bet there's a ton, though. I mean, 
we can also wait and see what magic what, what wizards puts in for the next hot vintage cube that comes out soon a ruinous path sure I still don't feel like you can attack here but yes excellent it's the wrong one this doesn't hit anything of theirs I'm gonna play this and then I'm gonna try to hit a land here and they're not gonna let me okay you got it so if we alpha they can go block here block here block here take three I don't feel like that's great we can probably wait Uh, that is just a magic card back under the shell dock aisle. I'm just going to take six here. Grave Titan? This feels like a Grave Titan. Mascarum? Vraska's Contempt. Interesting, they did not leave Sheldock up. Well, I guess we're getting in there. Hoping we don't die. Mistakes. I don't feel like we're winning this game. Yeah, that's actually what I was. I was like, you know, they're probably just gonna cyclonic rift this, and they did. I mean, zealous conscripts would be good. Stop playing things. Cringe. Yeah, we're just done here. This game. We can't win this game. This is unbelievable. Yep. They're going to go up to nine. We really have nothing to really contest all that stuff with. So let's try again. Yeah, I'm regretting uh, leaving the roast in and not taking out the and taking out the journey. That seems like the opposite of where we wanted to be.
journey definitely doesn't suck. That's a crazy... What a contrarian opinion there. Oh, my matchmaking failed. There's no one with your same record, loser. Yep, this hand seems great. I guess we'll find out. Hi, G. <laughs> uh. Get him. Well, I'll play a planes and all damnation. I'll wrath the board because I don't like your creatures. Oh well. Might be safe. <sighs> of course not. I'm just cringing through my screen right now at the number of damnations and day of judgments I've had to deal with today. It's an unreasonable amount, I feel. This deck does not seem great, though. It, it feels good. I, I feel like this deck has all the good things we want. Actually, they're at 13. I mean, this is 7, 8, 9, 10 with Phoenix. You're at six. All right, don't care about that guy. He's gonna let you put the top three cards at the bottom of your, of your deck on the bottom of your library. Oh, you got a lightning bolt. Not too shabby. A lot of decisions being made here. Lightning Bolt the Hero. Snapcaster, Lightning Bolt the Hero. Okay. Well, gotta do what you gotta do here.
So you're at five. We have a Flame Lake Phoenix and two one ones on the board. Well, now you're back up to eight. And our monk is dead. Go at your face, go at your Johnny. They're opening a Dixon Kent? That sounds actually awesome, dude. That would have been super close. Alright, well, we got the lethal on board. Signet. Damnation. Snapcaster. Targeting Sweltering Suns. Sweltering Suns. Oh my god. I'm cringing out of my skull right now. Good stuff. Typically when you're playing the aggressive deck versus the control deck, if you're stalling out, the aggressive deck is usually going to lose. Well, that was a good hit. Yeah, I probably don't want to play against... Yeah, probably don't... Probably don't play against me in the when you know my deck. Like, that's probably not ideal for me. I feel like this is going to do more damage than not, so... Uh, no attack. Fascinating. Oh god, last turn. Ugh, Jesus. And I'll butter my biscuits. Why is this? Oh, there's a lot of lands to hit. <laughs> I guess I was like, why are they not attacking? But it makes sense. Like, if we have like a Thunder Break, Thunder, Thunder My Hellkite, or Storm Breath Dragon, or something, like, then they just get crushed. Okay. That's enough. Ten lands to uh, nine cards. No, oh, 11 lands to 9 cards, even better. Yeah, you can take 4 here. You have 1 card in hand. <sighs> this is unbelievable. They're playing white so they can activate their needle spires. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, do that. And an exert, huh? Okay. 
Well, this does make our choices a lot. I guess we're just playing Resto here. Sure. So if we attack, we die to these. So that's something. So if they have any rule for a resto, then we're dead. Insane game, they said, so we're probably dead. <laughs> yeah, blocking here. Actually, we get to keep Resto if we block here. Going at two is fine, I guess. To the surprise of no one. <sighs> Cringe city. Take roast down. I just roast kind of gets on my nerves. Kiwi Splat, appreciate you saying so, buddy. <sighs> All right. I'll keep this. It's not great, but. about a three drop into a mountain uh, we don't want to cut lands like we have a ton of five drops in the deck like just because we drew a lot of lands that game doesn't mean we're always going to draw a lot of lands like that's just I, I don't you're not going to cut a land just because you drew a lot of lands in one game trying to sweltering suns but I think they're not tapping correctly uh, here we go they figured it out nope that's not it all right auger of bolus and they're in a lightning bolt oh you're playing auger to keep red up in case you hit the lightning bolt or do you have the lightning bolt no oh, flame slash sure Well, at least we don't have to uh, worry about Flame Slash or Sweltering Suns. Mind Control? Of course. Wow. Cringing out of my brain. Three, four, five, six. This is a lot of damage if we do this. Although they get to crack back with one ones. Gotta risk it for the biscuit, you though. I mean. Uh, 
you block here, you take 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, you go to 8. Seems fine. In before damnation. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Wow. I'm surprised we won this game. I have no idea what happened. <sighs> Do you have anything that deals with enchantments? Like, ah, uh, face fetters is worse now that we've seen mind control. So I'll bring cast out. I do like the, the life gain, though, in a matchup like this. Everything else seems fine. I might like Avacyn over Assemble, but Assemble's really good if you just stick it on the board, like, what are they gonna do? It might be better than Lyra, though. Not sure. Oh man, this rain, this, this rain and rainy mood.com is really picking up. Seems really good. This is probably our best hand ever. Especially with a selfless spirit. I'll take two here because if we draw another, I guess it doesn't matter, but it's actually hard to tell that the rain is not coming from outside. Like sometimes you're sitting here and you're like, is it raining outside? I don't know. Electrolyze, kill both. That would be s pretty busted. Oh, that's fine. It is always an ASMR stream. That's a true story. No, it's literally just a little rain sound effect. Andre's getting real angry. I think he's gonna go poop. Rally Zally. This is actually fine. We can. I really want to hit a land here so we can cast out and still attack, but. Nope. Oh, actually, this is Conclave, so actually, it's not Conclave, is my point, so it actually. Land would have also let us pump this to 4-4 and attack with both. Fa 
gosh, I'm a little late to the party land. I think we're just playing Mentor here. Plus Ralph. Definitely hoping for uh, not a sweltering. Who's my avatar? Ragavan. The monkey treasure. What does that even mean? Oh, it's Ragavan the monkey treasure, I guess? And this is Liliana, Death Majesty, Prestige? I don't, that's weird. Tough choice here. What sound does he make? I couldn't tell you. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, lots of things happening here. This is a damnation. No. Mind control. Oh boy. Mm, that would have been all right. Seems fine. Got a 4 4 on board. We get to kill Mentor, which is sad. Bringer, huh? Seems good. Okay, well, this is good. At least we get to kill Ral. And if they play Glorybringer, we can actually resto the figure and then... 
All right, this is not bad. Fascinatingly not bad. Never mind, it's worse now. <laughs> oh, good times. How about like a flame wake phoenix? No, land. Okay. Also five instants, so Ral can literally just negative and kill whatever we play. I'm not having a good time right now, which is really sad. Five instants in sorceries. We know you have a glory bringer in hand. Meanwhile, if we don't play Lyra, they just get. To, you know what? It's we have to do it. It just means they have to get rid of Ral, whatever. The problem is that every other creature we have dies to Glorybringer, so. Playing Resto DOT doesn't do much. Like, they're just gonna. I mean, they play Glorybringer, Ral goes up to four. I guess we could then play Lyra, and then. Resto would be four. Wow, oh, that was quick. Yeah. Oh, boy. Like, nothing I play here is any good. I'm just going to go to the next game, next match, because we're not going to win this game when they have an active Ral, and we have no real way to pressure damage. Yep, none of those cards are doing it. Boy. Man, I thought this deck was at least reasonable. I have since learned otherwise. I'm going to put in a cast out over this Remorseful Cleric. That guy does not seem great in the main deck. Man. I'll keep this and hope we can draw a mountain. As they are my favorite lands. Oh, we did it.
That's sad. How many modes? Just one mode? Okay. Maybe two modes? Oh, yeah, two modes. And we had... Did they gain life? I don't know what the other mode was. I don't care about Resto here. We can play this guy and pump once. That doesn't seem super efficient. We can also play this guy and Loxodon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's do that. two cards. They have one card now, so that's pretty good. Fatal, no. Doomblade? Oh, that's fine. I want, an, I want another land anyway. A pair of basic land art for each color? Uh, I probably do. I can't think of what they are, though, off the top of my head. Well, that's hard to deal with, unfortunately. I don't want to keep Resto up for whatever they try to target. However, I will attack with this Kithkin. And see if you want to block. I doubt you do. They have no cards in hand, that's good. Uh, definitely not lower one basics. If we respond by pumping this, they kill it. So that's not great. God, what a waste of mana, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can deal three to something, and something else fights it. It's pretty rough. God, this one Pelucranus is shitting all over us. Just out figure they block here. They take three, four, five, they fight. They wouldn't fight though, because then they trade. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they take seven. They go to seven. Yeah, this seems fine. They have no cards in hand. I'm okay with this. It puts us in a weird position where, like, um, four, five, six. Sure. First strike damage. I mean, we're just going to lose a figure, but we got to deal some damage here, and I feel like they're going to do some shenanigans. I guess they can't actually fight now. Yeah, alright. So now we can Resto, and they're at 8. We can EOT Resto and then play Aurelia. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they can still only deal 3, which doesn't kill Resto or Aurelia, which is super nice. And they're just going to kill Porcelain Legionnaire here, which is fine. We knew this was coming. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, 
Alive Alive. Two flyers you have to deal with and you get to draw one card. This is how you deal this is how you win the third game, I guess. Alright. Not sure we want anything else. Yeah, we already have Cast Out and Journey to Nowhere. And Roast deals with the Plukronos as well. We didn't really see much other than that, so. Yeah, I don't love this hand, but if we can hit some lands, I'll. It'll grow on me a bit. this guy. This hand has a lot of removal, so if they just want to start pumping guys out, I guess we're okay. If they want to play Reclamation Sage, though, it's going to be a little sadder. You get a roast or a lava coil. Well, a land is a land. I will take it at this point. You have disfigure. Fatal push, sure. <sighs> How about a land? Hmm. Well, no land. Guess he's gone a little journey. Took the midnight train going to Sevier. Doesn't even make any sense. We got it into the combat step. We did it. Beast within. Seems good. Money. One Frankie seen blue. These matches have been rough, but I hope you're able to cheer up a little bit. We love you, Buck. Appreciate it, buddy. Do you just get to keep this guy? Wow, that's a good deal. Oh, we're not gonna play anything here because we cannot. I mean, we both missed a bunch of land drops. So they know we have lava coil, which means if they block here, their guy dies. Force pitch force, what's going on, buddy? Hello.
Well, these goblins are just gonna do the deed, right? I'm just gonna play Outpost Siege here because reasons. I'm gonna name cons. I don't think we're in a position where dragons is really where we want to be. Any merch made for sales? I have. I, I mean, I've considered it a bunch. I just haven't done it yet. Probably not deck boxes and card sleeves because those are not easily accessible. Like, I'd have to go through an actual company where the rest of the stuff, the basic stuff, I can just get made through Streamlabs. A white mana. Fascinating. I still don't feel like we have any reason to play anything here. Whatever, I'll play Hero Blade Hold. Like, if they want a Damnation, we're losing a Hero and a Legion War boss for a Tassiger and a Damnation, so I'm not, like, super concerned with it. Oh God. Uh my my default sleeves are dragon shields. Can't tell if this is real life or not. finality Lethal on board, so you gotta have an answer, right? I'm not gonna block. I mean, if you have a way to deal me four extra points, I'll take it. Logo stamped your enemy milk? Oh, that's something. All is dust. Yep, just gonna pass here with Resto up. Seems fine. If they play anything big, we can conscript it. If they don't, we can Resto it. That doesn't make any sense, but you get it. Actually, we probably should have just conscripted attack for three, put them to three, and then we can Resto the conscript, which is probably better. Yep, that should be game. Because they have to have two removal spells here. One, two. Not our best record, but uh, it's a record. It's a record. I'll take it. What can you do? Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and on Twitch and on MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can use my affiliate link to get 15% off free shipping and free returns on uh, sweet underwear, socks, pants, not pants, but uh, lounge pants, and tees, and onesies, and pretty much anything you can think of that is comfortable clothing. So check that out. It helps me out. It helps you guys out. You probably need to buy them anyway. And um, 
really appreciate the support. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.